To God the Father let us say, to God the Son our risen King, Alleluia, Alleluia, and equally let us adore the Holy Spirit evermore, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica and Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We also welcome this morning our uh, viewers in our YouTube and uh, Facebook uh, platforms, as well as our radio listeners. My dear friends, coming together as God's family once again, let us offer our thanksgiving, the highest thanksgiving we can offer to God, this Eucharist. And we also come to pray, especially to ask our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag for whatever needs that we have, especially for those who are suffering from COVID-19 pandemic, as well as our frontliners. I confess, Almighty God, and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have this sin, sin in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have yet to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There, he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Lida and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Geopa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in the room upstairs. Since Lida was near Geopa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. 
So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs, where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good deed he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How I shall make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Please stand. words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walk with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you want also to live? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe, 
and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kahapon po, sinabi ng ating Panginoon, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you do not have life within you. Masarap ang pakinggan ang salita ng ating Panginoon. Kaya pag marinig niyo siguro ito, at lalong-lalo na kapag first time natin marinig ang kanyang salita, sigurado, Mahirap tanggapin. Kaya sabi nila, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Para lang siguro, para bagang ayuda lang. May ayuda pero mahirap matanggap, di ba? Mahirap tanggapin. lalong-lalo na sa panahong ito. Ganun lang ang salita ng ating Panginoon. Mahirap tanggapin at lalong-lalo na kapag hindi at walang pananampalataya. This is to test kung talagang may tiwala tayo sa Diyos. Kaya sabi ng ating Panginoon, How come if I will tell you I will ascend and return to where I was before? Eh, nung sinabi niya sa kanya mga apostoles, na bago siya uh, makilala, kailangan muna magpakasakit siya, mamatay sa krus. At sinabi niya na after three days, I will rise again. Eh doon pa lang eh, nahirapan na sila maniwala. Hindi katulad ni Pedro. No. You will not die. Kaya nung sabi ng ating Panginoon sa kanya, Get away, Satan. You are thinking not of God, but of human. Ganun lang. Ang ibig sabihin, itong mga umalis na una tagasunod ng ating Panginoon, sumusunod lamang sila dahil may matatanggap sila. Pagkatapos tanggapin, katulad ng pinakain sila, binusog sila, tulad ng pagpagaling sa kanila, tulad ng pag- uh, Linis na mga kitungin, pagpagalaw sa mga paralitiko, pagbukas ng mata ng mga bulag. Ang paniwala nila hanggang dun lang eh, external, external. Ngunit, hindi sila nakababa pa o hindi nila makita ang nasa likod nito. Ang nakita labang nila yung physical. But the spirit that gives life 
they cannot see. Kaya, kunting hirap, iniwan nila kagad ang ating Panginoon. Hindi sila makapaniwala. Dalang-dala ng ating Panginoon ang ayuda para sila mabuhay at ibigay sa kanila ang buhay na walang hanggan. Tagapin nyo ang aking katawan. Inumin nyo ang aking dugo. Yun lang ang condition ng ating Panginoon. But then, they interpreted it. Literally. Siguro sabihin nila, ano kami aswang? Hindi naman kami aswang. But no. But no. Jesus want us to discern that He is somebody, not an ordinary human being, but He is powerful that could bring life especially for those who needs in their life. Narian ang Diyos. Hindi siya pahirap. Kailangan lamang na maniwala ka sa Kanya. Lalong-lalo na sa Kanyang salita. Yung hindi lamang nanawala sa salita ng Diyos ay walang salita sa kanilang buhay. Hindi ba? Pag sinabi ng asawa mo, I love you, ikaw lang. Pagkatapos, eh, iba yung inuuwian. Hindi ba? Paano ka maniwala? Maraming mga promesa hindi naman nagagawa. Ngunit ang Diyos once we believe in Him just like Peter when asked by our Lord do you also want to live. And Simon Peter answered, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. At pinatunayan ito ni Pedro sa ating unang pagbasa pinakita sa atin kung paano pinagaling ni Pedro yung may sakit at kung paano binuhay ni Pedro yung patay. Maniniwala lamang po tayo sa Diyos. At paniwalaan natin yung pinakamahirap niyang sinasabi sa atin. Huwag natin piliin ang gustong ipagawa sa atin ng Diyos kahit mahirap dahil kapag mahirap ang ipapagawa niya sa atin mas lalo mas lalo na maging kasama natin siya dahil yun ang kondisyon ng pagsunod natin sa Diyos sa ating Panginoon if you want to come and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. Eh, kuminsan eh, sa totoo lang sa buhay natin, kapag may hiningi tayo sa Diyos at sabihin ng Diyos, okay, iwanan mo yung kasalanan mo. Iwanan mo yung kabit mo. Iwanan mo yung boyfriend mo. Iwanan mo yung girlfriend mo. Eh, masakit para sa atin. Mahirap para sa atin. And we don't want. So, kapag para sa lamang sa atin, kapakanan, ayun, okay lang na may Diyos. Pero, pag sinabi ng Diyos, 
mali yan. Huwag kang makikiyapid, huwag kang pumatay, huwag kang magnakaw. Huwag kang magsabi uh, ng hindi totoo. Huwag kang maingit sa asawa ng iba. Huwag kang maingit sa kayamanan ng iba. Ayaw natin yan. Dahil yun ang ginagawa natin. Hindi natin maiwan ng ating sarili. We love ourselves so much. Na kahit Diyos, hindi makapasok sa ating pagmamahal sa ating sarili. Ito yon ang sinasabi ng iba. Ito yun ang ayuda ng Diyos para sa atin upang tayo mabuhay. Iilan lang ang makatanggap ng ayuban na ito dahil iilan lang ang gustong magbago at gustong maniwala sa Kanya. Unless we believe we will not have life. And that is because His Word is life. Sinabi ng ating Panginoon yan. It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. You'll stand. Christ brings us the works of eternal life, and we believe. With that faith, we can confidently beseech our Father in heaven to hear the prayers of this community. For every intention we say, Father, keep us faithful to your Son. Father, keep us faithful to your Son that the leaders of the church may follow the Lord with all their heart, mind, and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son. That the leaders of troubled nation may work tirelessly to bring peace and justice to their countries. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son. That we may realize that God gives the greatest proof of His love in abiding presence of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son. That the sick and those suffering from lingering illnesses may find inner peace in the assuring words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us faithful to your Son. That the dead may experience the everlasting peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Keep us faithful to your Son. In silence, let us now open our hearts to God. Let us uh, ask Him through the intercession of Mary the things that we need and uh, believe that only God can give. We also include the intentions of this Mass. And let us also remember those who are celebrating their birthday today for their anniversaries. Father, your Son has the words of life. We have nowhere to go but to Him. Our prayer are offered in this manner, in His name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept the compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him and wealth him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Give safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We will now pray the Oratio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Linga in Tagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linga in Tagupan. Let us answer together, grant through the prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Carberry, walked with our seminarians in their journey to priestly formation, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. 
stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on, your, on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you, the beloved disciples, the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart, O young men, who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. May Mary help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood, accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. I would like to thank each and everyone for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. Thank you very much for coming. Likewise, I would like to thank Rusty for giving us the music in this celebration and for our lector and commentator and for our mass server. Thank you very much also for our frontliners, especially our uh, Eucharistic ministers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember in silence the names of your loved ones who are sick. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindly toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were grateful to bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.